you know, if you're operating in in countries that have you know, very different styles. You may need to have different policies and procedures and, and ways of protecting yourself. Um, but at the same time, you also don't want everyone re reinventing the wheel if there's some commonality there. And so there's a lot of attention being placed on, you know, what sort of consistent approaches can the enterprise adopt that then also allow for, um, you know, country-specific um, tailoring. A big issue is if you look at, you know, the risks we've been talking about this morning, um, AML, OFAC, um, FCPA, you know, what sort of synergies are there between those, those risk areas and, and in terms of how you identify, escalate, investigate, resolve these issues, how do you think through, they're very different, they're different types of risks, they have different implications, but you also have, you know, limited resources, limited people who know what they're doing, you want to make sure that you are aware of what's happening and where you have an issue. Um, it comes to the attention of the right people quickly. You know, global organizations also put a lot of um, effort in this area of AML compliance into monitoring and metrics. And you know, how do you really know if you're sitting um, in Hong Kong or in New York as, as a global legal or compliance officer, what sort of information flow do you need from your jurisdictions to make sure that you know, you know what's going on if you have an incident in one country, you're able to follow up on it and, and make sure that it's not a, a more widespread um, problem.